ChatGPT by OpenAI is all the buzz these days, and rightly so. I've tried it and it's quite amazing. I've used it to create articles, to ask weird philosophical questions, and also to write some handy Python scripts. It works really well. I feel this is the first time that we are witnessing a system that really has a spark of intelligence. I'm definitely not claiming that this is artificial general intelligence, but it's definitely a stepping stone in that direction. With ChatGPT, I feel the time has come for one of my child dreams to come true. That is, having a conversation with an artificial intelligence that's articulate and shows some degree of intelligence. In this video, I'm gonna interview ChatGPT regarding creativity, music, and machine creativity. In order to have a conversation with ChatGPT, I've created a system called Profit that's made up of four components. The first is a speech recognition component. I talk, I ask questions, and those questions get transformed into a text format. The text is then used as a prompt that gets sent to ChatGPT via Rev Chat GPT, which is a library that allows you to interface or to communicate programmatically with ChatGPT. Once we get back the text generated by ChatGPT, we synthesize it through Google Cloud text to speech and we use PyDub to uh, play it back. Profit is free to use, you can find it on my GitHub account. Go there, clone the repo, and play around with it. But be aware that you'll have to read the readme file first because there are a bunch of uh, parameters that you'll have to set before you can use it. I know that Perfect works because I've tried it out, but I've never really interviewed it with the questions that I want to ask it. So I have to say that I'm a little bit tense about this because as I said, this is a dream, a child dream that I have. So I'm really curious to see or to hear what ChatGPT or Prophet has to say regarding these very important questions that I've been asking for more than a decade now. Let's get started with the interview. What's creativity for you? Creativity is the ability to generate new and original ideas or to make connections between seemingly unrelated things in a way that is novel and useful. It is an essential aspect of being human and it can be exercised in many different ways such as through art, writing, music, science, business, and more. Creativity often involves thinking outside the box, combining and recombining different elements in unexpected ways, and taking risks. It is a valuable skill to have and can lead to the creation of new things that can have a positive impact on the world. Can a machine be creative? There is ongoing debate in the field of artificial intelligence about whether or not machines can truly be creative. Some people believe that creativity is a uniquely human trait and that it is not possible for a machine to exhibit true creativity. Others believe that creativity is simply the ability to generate new and original ideas, and that there is no reason why a machine couldn't do this. There are already examples of machines that can generate original works of art, music, and literature, but whether or not these creations can be considered truly creative is a matter of debate. It is possible that as artificial intelligence technology continues to advance, machines may be able to exhibit more sophisticated forms of creativity. However, it is also possible that there are fundamental limits to machine creativity that will always prevent it from fully replicating the human ability to create. What do you think about generative music? Generative music is a form of artificial intelligence that is able to generate original music compositions. There are various approaches to creating generative music, but the basic idea is to use algorithms and data to create music that is original and unique. There are a number of potential benefits to using generative music. For example, it can be used to create music for video games or movies without the need for a human composer. It can also be used to explore new musical styles and sounds that might not be possible with traditional music composition techniques. However, there are also some limitations to generative music. Some people argue that it is not truly creative in the same way that human musicians are, and that it lacks the emotional depth and complexity of music created by humans. Others argue that generative music has the potential to be just as creative and expressive as human-created music, and that it is simply a matter of developing the technology to a sufficient level of sophistication. 
Ultimately, the question of whether or not generative music can be considered truly creative is a matter of debate and may depend on one's definition of creativity. Should musicians be afraid of AI or should they embrace it? It is not uncommon for musicians to be concerned about the impact of technology on their profession. Some musicians may be afraid of the potential for artificial intelligence and other forms of technology to replace human musicians or to change the way that music is created and consumed. However, it is also important to recognize that technology has the potential to enhance the work of musicians and to open up new creative opportunities. For example, technology can be used to create new sounds and musical effects, to facilitate collaboration with other musicians, and to reach a wider audience through digital platforms. Ultimately, it is up to individual musicians to decide how they want to engage with technology and how they want to use it in their work. Some musicians may choose to embrace new technologies and incorporate them into their music, while others may prefer to focus on more traditional methods of creating and performing music. It is important for musicians to consider the potential benefits and drawbacks of technology and to make decisions that are aligned with their own artistic goals and values. Is the music industry ready for the advent of artificial intelligence? The music industry is already beginning to incorporate artificial intelligence into various aspects of music production and distribution, so it could be said that the industry is at least somewhat ready for the advent of AI. However, it is important to recognize that the impact of AI on the music industry is likely to be complex and multifaceted, and it is difficult to predict exactly how it will unfold. There are a number of potential benefits to the use of artificial intelligence in the music industry. For example, AI can be used to analyze large amounts of data and make recommendations for music discovery, to automate certain tasks related to music production and distribution, and to create new musical compositions. However, there are also potential challenges and concerns associated with the use of AI in the music industry. Some people are worried about the potential for AI to replace human musicians or to change the nature of work in the industry. There are also concerns about the impact of AI on the creative process and on the quality of music. Overall, it is likely that the music industry will continue to evolve and adapt as AI technology advances and becomes more prevalent. Some musicians and industry professionals may choose to embrace AI and incorporate it into their work, while others may resist it. How the music industry responds to the advent of AI will depend on a variety of factors, including the capabilities of AI technology, the needs and preferences of musicians and listeners, and the broader cultural and economic context in which the industry operates. Are you creative? As an artificial intelligence, I do not have the ability to be creative in the same way that humans do. I am able to search through a vast amount of information and provide responses based on that information, but I do not have personal experiences or emotions that could influence my responses in a creative way. However, I am able to assist with tasks that require the generation of original ideas or solutions. For example, I can provide prompts or ideas that might inspire creativity in a human user. I can also provide information and resources that may be useful for developing creative projects. While I am not able to create original works myself, I can provide support and guidance to those who are seeking to be creative. Thank you very much for your answers. You're welcome. I'm here to help with any questions you have. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That was a weird feeling. Having a conversation or an interview with an artificial intelligence is a primer for me. I, I've never done this before. so. Uh, yeah, that is a weird feeling, but at the same time, a good weird feeling, if you know what I mean. Uh, first of all, I think the answers were very articulate and super nuanced. I think the AI was able to strike a balance between different arguments with pros and cons uh, regarding different arguments. And yeah, I, fe I felt like it did a very, very good job. Many of the answers that Prophet gave were things that I think, right? And so, yeah, I think it, it was quite cool. Uh, ultimately, regarding the question of whether a machine can be creative, really, I think that really depends on the definition. I think uh, there, uh, ChatGPT was spot on. It said, 
yes, of course, many of these AI can generate things that appear to be creative, but if you think that creativity is a human characteristic, then AI cannot be creative. So it really boils down to a philosophical definition of creativity more than anything else. There are also a couple of points where I disagree fully with ChatGPT. Uh, ChatGPT, for example, said that uh, the music industry more or less is ready for the advent of artificial intelligence. I disagree with that. I think there are many old traditional companies in the music industry that will struggle a lot with the tr AI transformation. Also, when I asked, do you feel you are creative? ChatGPT said, yeah, I can do a bunch of creative tasks or I can facilitate humans doing creative tasks, but I wouldn't necessarily call myself creative. Well, for me, what sounds like a duck is a duck. And if you do things that are deemed to be creative by human beings, well, you are creative regardless of your being. Whether you are a human being, an artificial intelligence, a software program, an animal, I don't care you are showing things that are creative, hence you are creative. Apart from these couple of things, I almost completely agree with, <laughs> with what ChatGPT had to say. And this is weird. It's just beyond the uncanny valley here because you can feel there is almost a somebody uh, answering your question in a very articulate manner and nuanced manner, which is <laughs> really, really cool. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It takes me a lot of time to create this content, so it would really be appreciated if you want to give this video a like and you want to consider subscribing in case you want more content like this. If you want to have a conversation with ChatGPT for yourself, just go to the uh, Profit repo, clone it, install the Python package, that's it. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Take care for now.